All right, listen to this. Health experts are right now warning about a lesser known respiratory virus that has seen a rise in cases. According to the CDC, cases of human metapneumovirus, or HMPV, spiked 36% higher than average this season. Among the symptoms are going to sound familiar to you, nasal congestion, a cough, fever, and shortness of breath. Dr. Celine Gowda joins us now. She's the editor-at-large for public health at Kaiser Health News and is an infectious disease specialist and epidemiologist at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. Doctor, always great to have you with us. And on this topic, it's crucial. Just tell us about this new virus and, of course, for viewers who are concerned and worried, you know, what should the appropriate level of concern be? Human metapneumovirus, so HMPV, has been around for many years. Uh, it was first discovered by uh, scientists back in 2001, but has probably been around with us for decades, if not centuries. What's really happened is our testing has changed. Our, we uh, have mm -hmm. developed the tests, you know, just like you have those PCR tests for COVID, we have them for human metapneumovirus. And we're testing a lot more, especially since the start of the pandemic, using those PCR tests a lot more. So we're just realizing what has been there all along. It's oh, one wow. of the many viruses that causes cough, cold, flu symptoms. Well, what I mentioned to you during the break was this sounds like what's running through my kid's school, what's made, what we have potentially seen in my family. Are there greater risks either for, um, for healthy individuals or, or vulnerable populations from human metapneumovirus? This is one of the respiratory viruses that can cause a severe pneumonia. So it used to be we would say, well, you have some kind of pneumonia. We don't know what it is exactly. Maybe it's a virus. Now we can actually pinpoint and say this is what it is. But we do see an increased risk of hospitalization, even ICU stays, deaths among the very young and the very old. Mm. And the vulnerable are always the, fo are always the folks that we should be looking out for and communicating with and protecting. Um, how then might this compare to uh, COVID or just the flu? Uh, it's probably somewhere closer to the flu. Okay. Uh, COVID is still a much more severe infection um, and people take longer to recover from a COVID infection. Uh, it, it is something that usually we're exposed to human metapneumovirus by the age of five. So we develop uh, immunity from infection. Unfortunately, there's not yet a vaccine for human metapneumovirus. So given that there's no vaccine, given that it presents in the same way as a regular cold, uh, if, if we are worried about seeing somebody that we love with, with these symptoms, should we take them into the doctor? Should we just treat it like a normal cold? There's not a specific treatment for human metapneumovirus. And so that's one of the reasons we don't always test. We have a saying in medicine, how is the test going to change management? I'm going to mm -hmm. manage you, so to speak, the same way. Recommend rest. If you're sick, stay away from other people. Uh, if you're trying to prevent spread of infection, um, you would also wear a mask, just like you would for COVID or the flu. Masks work. It's also why we're seeing a resurgence of this now, because people were masking, social distancing during the pandemic, weren't spreading as much, and now we're seeing a resurgence post-pandemic. All right. Dr. Celine Gounder, thank you.